Welcome to Gospel World. Gospel World is an apostolic movement to take over the media's influence and set men on fire for God. We brings you edified messages, prophetic chants, power-packed articles, soaking worship songs, and lots more. Connect with us with Gospel World on our other social media platforms. Thank you. War betides a man who can explain everything about his lifting. It's not God that lifted you. Whether political, there must be a gap that only the signs of God can fill in your story. There must be, if it's God, no matter how you calculate it, there must be a space where you will tell people, honestly, this is where I stop. I don't know how this one happened. He does it like that so that men will fear him. The sovereignty of God should not replace our loyalty to principles. But let me tell you this. The best of us in obeying these principles will still default because we are humans. So while he's watching you, his, his power is trailing you. And when he looks at you and he sees that time is going and the unit of destiny is time, he will say, son, let me pick you. And this is how he will carry you. Let me speak to someone this night already. In the name of Jesus, who is the lifter of men, I decree and declare, in no time your world will look at you with shock and wonder. May the lifter of men lift you. May the lifter of men lift you. One area I know where only God can truly explain is the lifting of men. There is a science to wealth and prosperity. You can sit down and provide value here and there and then you just have resources. But when it has to do with lifting, the variables are many. You can do everything right and you are ready for promotion and someone says, because you are this tribe or this gender, I had a problem with your father because he died. Since he's not around, you are the one who will pay the price. And God says, who is, who is, who is attempting to be me there? Do you believe what I'm sharing tonight? Because you see, sometimes believers become so afraid just because of the things men say. Oh, you won't rise. Oh, oh, come on. We're talking God. Every one of us seated here, respectfully speaking, and I, mean, I do not mean to insult your pedigree in any way, but every one of us seated here was once a baby in the hands of a woman. None of us here is an ancient of days. Even Satan is older than us. But there is an ancient monarch He's been sitting for a very long time. He has watched proud kings rise and fall. He has watched humble people from their lowly estate. He's lifted. He has watched this thing. He's seen poor people lifted in one day. He's seen men in Samaria say, if God opens this window. So when God says by tomorrow, Monday, you will return rejoicing. Be careful to not make the mistake that was made in Samaria. Listen to me, believers, the God we serve is not a governor. The God we serve is not a president. And there's nothing wrong with this. The God we serve is not an ambassador of a place. The God we serve was not given land to occupy. He was not voted into power. The, you have to understand this about God. The Bible says in the beginning, not from the beginning. We don't even know what happened. When Moses was writing, he said, where do I start this from? He just said in the beginning. He couldn't have said from the beginning. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Where was he before he created them? Because he was not in the heavens, he was not in the earth. The word eternity means the summation of infinite dispensations we do not even know which one we are with respect to his blueprint the, the devil that you are talking about read your bible there was a time when he was not part of the equation
this is how genuine bible faith comes when you take away your eyes for as long as you keep looking at that cancer you are going to see a legitimate medical report you will see testimonies for as long as you look at that financial situation the three uncles that will help you have vowed that it's better for them to die than help you so already you know that nobody is coming to help you there then you come to god and god says please i have spoken once i don't speak twice go and hear again watch how we celebrate kings on earth i've had the honor and the privilege of meeting a few and i am amazed at the skill and the energy that is invested to force us to believe that they are great people some people can use the skill of a shout hail the king and they push and flog you away no matter who you are clear the way for the king by Igbo or in the north here the emirate systems we watch the way we celebrate kings nothing matters when they are coming you get out of the way or they deal with you decisively and whilst the man is watching they find him hail the king and he's smiling this is a human being no? not a spirit and we find them and then he looks at people and says by tomorrow give these people rice and everybody is jumping because a man spoke that he will bless you they know he's rich they don't even know how much yet the man himself is still looking for money the man himself may still be having problems in his house but just with respect to what he has we celebrate before you receive from god find out who is talking to you find out who is saying i will bless you find out who is saying i will exalt you above the nations of the earth did he not know that visa is hard when he spoke did he not know that your loved ones may have gone and left you alone hebrews 11 and verse 6 he that cometh to him must come believing two things number one hebrews 11 verse 6 please give it to us that he is that means he exists some of you are yet to be sure this god is he really alive he wants to answer you tonight because you've been asking that thing for a long time 